Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. And for my money, the month of October is the best month of 2024 when it comes to new physical media releases. This month is absolutely stacked. You guys know how it is. If you are a pre-orderer like myself, things are announced months in advance. So you go on Amazon, you make the pre-order, and then you forget about it for a couple of months. And you do that maybe once, twice, three, however many times. And then by the time the month actually comes, you go in, you sit back, you take a look at everything you have pre-ordered, and you think, oh my God, this is ridiculous. This is the first month of the year where I actually had to cancel some pre-orders because I just had way too much pre-ordered. So today I'm gonna share with you guys not my top five anticipated releases of the month, but actually all nine titles that I have pre-ordered for the month of October plus we'll go over some honorable mentions. Typically, I go uh, a ranking list from five down to one. This month, though, we are just going week by week, and I'm going to share with you guys everything that I've pre-ordered and anything else that I thought would be awesome to pick up, but obviously, money is always a factor, so I can't grab everything. So this should be a big one. So let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right into my anticipated releases of October 2024. So no rankings in today's video, but that said, you'll probably know which ones I'm most anticipating out of all of these this month. But starting off with week number one. So the day this video goes live, if you happen to be watching it today, this is October 1st. So coming out today, there are two items that I have pre-ordered. The first one and arguably the big one of the month is a box set from Paramount Pictures. We have Paramount Scares Volume 2. This box set, of course, is being released on 4K, and I'll mention, I did not pick up Paramount Scares Volume 1. I had no interest in that one. The movies were things I already owned on Blu-ray or 4K and just didn't care to get the, the box set that was coming out. This time, though, that completely changed. Once I realized what the contents of this were, I had to pre-order it. Admittedly, I only pre-ordered this one maybe about a week ago, but I had to get it because this box set contains four films, three of which were never on 4K before. We have World War Z, which is the only one that was on 4K, thanks to Scream Factory released it uh, last year. And then we have Orphan First Kill, Breakdown, and Friday the 13th Part 2. So all four of these movies are films that I enjoy. I own two of them only on Blu-ray, one on DVD and one not at all. So World War Z I have on Blu-ray. I never upgraded to the 4K last year. And then Orphan First Kill, I don't own that one in my collection at all. I watched it streaming when it first came out and I really enjoyed it. And then we have Breakdown, which I watched for the very first time earlier this year, back in January on DVD, and I loved it. It was so good. That's a film that I'd wanted to watch for the longest time. Ever since seeing it on the Blockbuster shelf when I was a kid and my dad told me I couldn't rent it, I've wanted to see it ever since then and I'm so glad I finally have. It's a fantastic film. Kind of an odd entry to this box set, to you know, admittedly, but I still think this is awesome to get on 4K, so super excited about that one. And then, of course, the kind of the penultimate title here, right? Like the big one, Friday the 13th Part 2. I loved the Friday the 13th 4K, which I know is going to discredit me for a lot of people, but I thought it looked really good. I had no issues with it, so very interested to see what they do with Part 2 here. Another just classic from that series. So... This whole box set looks awesome. On top of all the movies, though, you're getting a bunch of physical goodies. So you get four special edition slipcovers that are unique to this box set. You get four iron-on patches, which is really cool. You get a sticker and a pin. And then the one that's most interesting to me, well, you also get a poster, but the thing that's most interesting to me is that you get a full Fangoria magazine that's dedicated to this set. So that is super cool. I am very excited about this. On top of that, it looks like all four of these releases are getting the Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grading treatment. 
Plus, you have over two and a half hours of bonus features included here. And I'll mention this is an eight disc set, so you get the 4K discs and the Blu-ray discs. So this one should be awesome. I am so excited to add this one to the collection. So this currently is $63.19 on Amazon, and I cannot wait. Mine should be here later today, hopefully. Hopefully nothing was delayed, but we will see. You guys know how Amazon goes. So this is Paramount Scares Volume 2 hitting 4 4K today. Cannot wait to see what this one looks like. The other title I'm grabbing today is a Scream Factory Collector's Edition release from 2014, As Above, So Below. Now, for my money, this is one of the most underrated found footage films I've ever seen. I love this movie. So I actually picked up this version of the film, the standard release, from Disc Replay for like four or five dollars, maybe a year or two ago, and I watched it and fell in love with it. I don't know how this movie doesn't get more love. Like, it is just an awesome found footage film. Now, Obviously, I, I think I know why it doesn't get a lot of love because you have to be a found footage fan to enjoy this. And if you're not, then you probably would have no interest in it. But for my money, this was awesome. I am so excited this is getting the special edition release from Scream Factory. So I, what's cool about this now, admittedly, this isn't the greatest thing ever because it's only a Blu-ray release, which I already do own it on Blu-ray, but I'm double dipping because there are two new special features on here. There's an interview with both the director and the co-writer and producer. So two different new interviews on here. Plus you do get the, uh, what's it called? Inside as above, so below, which is short. It's only like four or five minutes. It's a making of feature at. So the other thing on this, the price isn't great. This is a, not, not a super loaded release and it's still $27.99 on Amazon as of filming. But hey, again, for me, I'm excited about it because I love the film and want to support the filmmakers. So that's why I'm grabbing this Scream Factory release of As Above, So Below. Super excited for this one. So each week, I also have a full list of honorable mentions. This one is the shortest of the list because there's only one on here this week. But the other item I actually had pre-ordered that I ended up canceling was the Steelbook release of Imaginary. So this is a 2024 horror film that I saw in theaters back in January, and it was released on Blu-ray a few months later. But... As the trend is nowadays, though some companies will release the Blu-ray and then a few months or a year later, they'll then release the 4K. And that's exactly what happened here because Imaginary is coming to 4K. It's a Lionsgate steelbook that looks absolutely fantastic. And frankly, that's really the reason I pre-ordered this because the movie is a step above mediocre, I'll call it. It's not a great film by any stretch. It's not terrible, but... I don't know. I, and it's been long enough now that I really would like to revisit it. So that's why I had this one pre-ordered. But this one ended up getting bumped. So that's why I put it in my honorable mentions. That said, I might end up with this down the line. But we'll see here. I, I just think the steelbook looks beautiful. And the movie's, while it's not great, it's not terrible either. So one I might add down the line. But yeah, definitely check out that release if you're interested in Imaginary. So for week two, this is actually the shortest list for me this week because it's only one title, but it's one I am super excited to add to the collection. This is Maxine hitting 4K, of course, on October 8th from Lionsgate. So unlike Imaginary that only saw the Blu-ray release, we are fortunately getting a 4K release right out of the gate with Maxime. Now, I, another one that I saw in theaters a few months ago, and I thoroughly enjoyed this. Now, I was a gigantic fan of X when that released. And so, you know, when I saw Pearl, I had super high expectations. Unfortunately, I thought Pearl was a major disappointment. However, Maxine is right back up there. I really liked that one. I would go X, Maxine, Pearl in terms of my ranking order of this trilogy, but I, I really loved Maxine. The aesthetic, that 80s Los Angeles is so cool. You have some discussion in there about like the Night Stalker serial killer as well, and it all kind of just plays together really well. I really liked it. The ending is a little bit questionable, but everything leading up to it, I really loved. And so super excited to add this one to the collection. Now this 4K is getting the full Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grade treatment, along with that Dolby Atmos audio track. So should look and sound as good as it ever will. 
Plus, there are quite a few special features on here. I believe there are four different special features, which is awesome to see, including a Q&A with Ty West and some other behind the scenes making up featurettes on there as well. So this should be an awesome release. This one is currently $34.49 on Amazon. This is Maxine hitting on October 8th. I have a ton of honorable mentions for this week here. There are so many that I would love to have picked up, but again, you, you can only get so much, right? I, I've, I'm spending enough this month. So I have like five different honorable mentions just for this week. I'm gonna try to go through these as quickly as I can. But on the first on the list here, we have A Quiet Place Day One. Of course, hitting 4K. I love this movie when I saw it in theaters but I don't love it as much as I liked the first two films. It's a much different feeling film, but still really good. One that I will absolutely have in my collection at some point, but I don't need to pick it up brand new given everything else that's out here right now. And then we have another one that I actually had pre-ordered, but then canceled. This is called Exuma. And I believe this is a 2024 horror film that is of Asian descent. I don't know if it's Japanese. I don't know exactly what country it's from, but looked really interesting and one that was cheap enough, only at like $22, $23 on 4K that I decided, you know what? I'll grab that. But then I decided to grab some other things. So I ended up canceling this pre-order, but one that looks really cool. So check it out if you're interested. And then Scream Factory is giving us another 4K upgrade of a, a title that I never would have expected would be getting a 4K upgrade, but it's Devil from 2010. One that I do own on Blu-ray behind me. This is such a weird film. I believe it's produced by M. Night Shyamalan. And I, I saw it in theaters. I didn't love it. I've seen it on home media probably two other times now, and it's just, it's not a great movie, but there's something very watchable about it. So one that, while I don't need to upgrade right now, is a cool uh, release that's hitting 4K. Another one coming out this week is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. So of course, the sequel to the infamous Winnie the Pooh slasher film from last year. And I'll admit, I liked Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey more than a lot of people did. That said, I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I didn't end up purchasing it. I just watched it streaming, but I thought it was pretty well done for what it is. It's a very, you know, a prototypical slasher film, but I thought the cinematography was a lot better than it really should have been given what that was. So I definitely will check this one out at some point, but I'm not going to end up picking it up brand new this month. I will mention this is being released on a steelbook on Blu-ray that is exclusive to Walmart. So if you want that one, that's how you get it. I believe it's around $30 if I'm not mistaken. Taken, but definitely check Walmart for that one. And then last but not least is one that I came across just while researching this video. And frankly, if this drops even just a little bit in price, because I think it was about $24 right now, if it gets under that $20 price tag, I'll probably end up buying this. This is called Subservience. And this is starring Megan Fox, and it's by the same director that did Till Death, which also stars Megan Fox. That was a home invasion film that I thought was super underrated, which I know I say way too often, but I just people don't talk about that movie enough. I think it was really well done. And so because of that, I really want to see subservience, and it doesn't appear to be streaming anywhere. So this is one. I mean, you cut $5 off the current price, I'll probably grab this one when it comes out. Really intrigued to see this one. So hopefully it'll be good, and hopefully I'll be able to pick it up. But we'll see. I'll definitely do a review on it if I do grab it, because I enjoyed Till Death so much. So could be another one of those uh, kind of under the radar good horror films. Uh, it's about a, a Megan Fox plays like this AI robot who is a housemaid of some sort. But of course, it's a, it's a horror film, so things are gonna get weird from there. And it just sounds awesome. And admittedly, I mean, it's Megan Fox, which I just, I love Megan Fox. So I'll watch anything with her in it. So yeah, that's one of the big reasons I want it. But again, just looks really interesting. Check it out if you haven't heard of it. Like I hadn't, maybe you're interested in it as well. So those are all of the honorable mentions from week two. Just a, a big old list where if money was no option, I'd definitely be grabbing all of those. Week three here, October 15th, we're getting one of the biggest releases of the month, a film that many of us horror fans have been waiting forever for. I'm talking, of course, about A Nightmare on Elm Street, hitting 4K from Warner Brothers. This is one of the icons of horror cinema, right? Everybody knows and loves A Nightmare on Elm Street. And we've been waiting so long for this one to finally hit the format. Hopefully down the line, we'll get the rest of this uh, film series on the film format. But 
for now, super excited to add this one to the collection. Now, this one is getting some special features on it. I don't believe any of these are new, though. Looking at it, nothing's being advertised as new. So there are both versions of the film. You get the theatrical and the uncut version. There's two commentary tracks, alternate endings, and three feature ads. So... Though I don't think any of these are new, it's really good to get all of these ported over. That's a ton of special features that frankly, most people won't even care about, but if you're a huge fan of the film, maybe you will. So I ended up going with the Steelbook release of this, but that appears as if it's sold out, at least as of filming on Amazon right now. Probably something that will come back in stock because this is a, a very big film. So I'm sure it's gonna make Warner Brothers a lot of money. But if you're interested, that's available. If not, you can get the standard slipcover edition, which is available right now on Amazon. And I'll mention this is getting HDR10 color grade, so no Dolby Vision, but it is getting a Dolby Atmos audio track, which I'm super interested to hear because Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe this has had a Dolby Atmos track before, so I'm super interested to see what that's going to sound like. But yeah, this, I, I just, I cannot wait to watch this one once it comes in. So uh, the current slipcover edition is $23.79 on Amazon right now, where for reference, I ended up pre-ordering the Steelbook at $29.39. So not a huge price difference, which is cool to see, but so I just, I can't wait to see how this one is going to look on the 4K format. This is A Nightmare on Elm Street coming out this week, week three, the 15th on 4K. The other one I have pre-ordered for this week is a documentary that I've actually talked about once before, maybe a couple years ago now, in one of these videos. This is American Movie from 1999 being released by Sony Pictures. This is one that is getting another full Dolby Vision color treatment on here. And I think this is going to maintain the uh, DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 track. Plus it is a full screen movie. So keep that in mind. It's maintaining its original aspect ratio of 1.33 to one. So if you haven't seen this one, I highly recommend it. Now it's been probably 10, 15 years since I've seen it, but I loved it. It is a documentary about these two guys from Wisconsin that are trying to make a low budget horror film called Coven. And it is just fascinating. It's hilarious, everything that they go through to try to make this. And just, you know, watching their passion, it's so fascinating to watch. If you're a fan of documentaries or a fan of horror movies or like me, a fan of both, like this is must see. This is such a great documentary. Like I said, this one is $27.34 on Amazon. And I'll also mention, it doesn't appear that there are any new special features here. So everything on the previous Blu-ray is being ported over, but nothing new, which is a little bit disappointing, but frankly expected at this point. So again, this is American Movie from 1999. Cannot wait to see how this 4K transfer looks. All right, and some honorable mentions from this week. We have three horror films here. Two of them are great. One of them I haven't seen, but I'm really interested in it. So we have Land of the Dead from 2005. Of course, the George A. Romero film that is coming from Scream Factory this week. And this is one, frankly, I probably should upgrade. I do have the boutique release of it already, though, from Scream Factory. Whenever I already have it on boutique label, I'm I'm much more reticent to upgrade right away, but if it drops in price or I hear amazing things about it, I probably will, you know, I'll probably do it because I'm weak like that. But Land of the Dead's a great film that I think more people are starting to appreciate now, but one that is kind of the black sheep of that franchise, but I really like that one. And then we have Thanksgiving. So this is a 2023 horror film, and I thoroughly enjoyed this when I saw it in theaters, and of course, I have the Blu-ray behind me. This is another one like Imaginary, where we got the Blu-ray already, and now, finally, they're releasing it on 4K, and I'll mention this is a 4K steelbook if you're interested, but I'm not gonna upgrade. I'll stick with my Blu-ray. I think that's sufficient for this one. And then last but not least, another one from Scream Factory that I I hadn't heard of before, but looks super interesting. This is called Model House. And essentially, from what I can tell, it's a slasher film that takes place at a model house, a house with a bunch of models in it. The reason I'm super interested in this though is because it stars Scout Taylor Compton, who I love. Of course, she's probably best known from her work in the Rob Zombie Halloween films. That's how I was first introduced to her, but she was in another film like 
I forget what it was called, the ghost house or so. I forget what it was called, but it was excellent. It was an indie film that was shot in Thailand, I believe. And she did an amazing job in it. And so I think she's just a great actress. So really want to check out Model House, but it is relatively expensive, right around $30 because it is Scream Factory. So I'll hold off on it. Maybe it'll be streaming somewhere and I can check it out first. But yeah, I want to check that one out. So those are the three honorable mentions for week three. Week four, October 22nd, houses one of my favorite films of all time, which I will repeat again next week, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So coming in at number one here, we have Signs finally getting the 4K treatment. Of course, this is the 2002 film being released by Disney Buena Vista. So as I always talk about, whenever I talk about Signs, I always mention this is one of my all-time favorite films. I love this movie. This is one of those that was right at the top of my want list for 4Ks. So super excited that this is finally getting the 4K treatment. So this one is unfortunately not getting Dolby Vision, but it is getting HDR10 color grading and it has a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 track with it. So should be fine. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna look and sound amazing. Also, no new special features, it appears, but what's here? There's so much here. Like, you get a six-part documentary of the making of the film. Now, have I watched this already on the DVD I owned? Of course, I have, but I'll probably watch it again because it's really well done. And then there are storyboards, and then you get M. Night Shyamalan's very first alien movie. It's like a whole movie from back when he was a kid. It's hilarious. It's super adorable. And then finally, you also get deleted scenes. So, again, nothing new, but if you haven't already checked these out. I mean, this is this is great to see this 4K have all of these ported over. So, so happy this is finally getting the treatment. It is currently $34.49 on Amazon. So another one that if you're not a huge fan of the film and you already have the Blu-ray or the old DVD, maybe you want to wait on the upgrade. But for my money as a gigantic fan, I'm absolutely grabbing this one day one. So this is Signs coming in here at week four. The other one I have pre-ordered for this week is a horror film from 2024, Cuckoo. This one is being released by Decal Releasing on Blu-ray. So this is a film that I just think looks super interesting and the price is right that I'm willing to take a shot on this one. My buddy sent me the trailer a couple months ago and it looked awesome, but we didn't get a chance to see it in theaters. So I definitely want to check it out now. And another one that I don't see it streaming anywhere. So I'll probably end up, you know, keeping this pre-order and grabbing it this week here. But this is about this 17 year old girl. She ends up moving to this Alpine resort and weird things are happening. Her mother has just passed away and there's a some type of conspiracy she needs to unravel in this city in order to save herself and her sister. That sounds right up my alley. Like I'm very intrigued by this one. And again, the trailer just looked awesome. So on top of that, with this Blu-ray release, there are quite a few special features. There's a making of, there's video diaries, there's deleted scenes. So it's good to see that this one is loaded a bit here. And like I said, the price is right. This is only currently $18.29 on Amazon. So for 18 bucks, I'm definitely willing to give this one a shot. This is Cuckoo coming out on week four. And if I'm saying that wrong, let me know down below. But it's I think it's Cuckoo even though it's spelled like cuckoo. I'm just an idiot. I think it's cuckoo though, but let me know if I'm wrong down below. Oh my gosh, there are so many honorable mentions for this week. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna go through these as fast as I can. So we have The Sixth Sense coming out on 4K as well, right alongside Signs. Again, I love that movie also. I'll probably end up grabbing it, frankly, because I like that one so much, but they aren't cheap, and so that's why I've held off, but The Sixth Sense is such a great film. And then we have two releases, finally, from Visual Vengeance. They are coming back. Now, if you guys follow the channel, you'll know that I receive review copies from Visual Vengeance. So fingers crossed, I still do. We will see. They haven't released anything in like almost a year now, but I've reviewed everything they've released up to this point and I've enjoyed them all in one form or another. It is a super, I call them the anti-boutique label because they release like these terrible films uh, that are shot on video but they're so much fun. So anyway, the two releases coming out this week are Kung Fu Rascals from 1992 and De Despiser from 2003. I know nothing about either of them, but it's visual vengeance. So hopefully I will get a chance to review these. And then we have 
probably the most hated film of 2024 hitting this week. And another one I had pre-ordered for weeks, months even, until I realized I had too many things pre-ordered and so I canceled it. But Borderlands is coming on 4K this week. Now there is an Amazon exclusive 4K steelbook of this. That's what I ended up pre-ordering because it was a pretty decent price and it looks really cool. But there is also the standard edition of this as well. Frankly, probably don't buy it unless you've already seen it and really like it because I've heard nothing but bad things about it. So super intrigued to see it, but I will hold off on this one. And then we have a horror film from 2024 called In a Violent Nature. This one looks awesome and I really want to get this. Another one I might end up grabbing if it goes on sale at all between now and the release date, but it looks like a slasher film that just sounds awesome. So check that out if you're interested. And then finally, the big release for this week, we have Deadpool and Wolverine. I adored this film when I saw it in theater. So did my wife. We went to go see it together with my friend. All three of us really loved it. Such a great film. One of my favorites of the year, frankly. And the only reason I'm not grabbing it right on release day is because it's going to be super easy to find down the road. I don't need the steelbook for it or anything like that. I'll get the standard 4K and I'm hoping it'll be a little bit cheaper come Black Friday, but we will see. I will absolutely own this at some point. Such an amazing movie. So tons of honorable mentions this week, but those are the six I thought were most interesting. If you're still here, thank you for sticking around. This is a long one, but there are so many cool titles this month, but we are finally reaching the end. Week five, October 29th. So this first one I'll talk about is probably my most anticipated release of the year, frankly, because I've been wanting this on 4K for the absolute longest time. This is the David Fincher masterpiece from 2007, Zodiac. Paramount Pictures is finally releasing this one on 4K, and this and Signs have been at the very top of my most wanted 4K upgrades for the longest time. The cinematography in this film is stunning. I can only imagine how good this is going to look on the 4K format. I just, oh, this is the one for me. If I could only get one this month, this is the one I would probably get. I just, I love this movie. Now, there are some things to talk about with this one because not, it's not gonna be for everyone, this upgrade, but this is an upscaled 4K release, which for my money, I don't tell a difference at all. Like I think the upscale looked just as good as the standard 4K, but keep that in mind because I know some people hate that. That said though, this is getting a Dolby Vision color grade along with that HDR10 upgrade. So it should look just phenomenal. Now with this one, I can't find anything about the special features, but frankly, for me, I don't really care because I already own the like special two disc edition Blu-ray from what, like 2007, 2009, whenever the Blu-ray came out. Uh, and that is absolutely loaded. I mean, there are two almost feature length documentaries on there. There's one that is a full hour and 45 minute documentary about Zodiac, the killer himself and the case and everything around it. And then there's a 45 minute piece about the main suspect that's presented in this film. Now, if you know anything about Zodiac at this point, the the main suspect that's presented in Zodiac, and of course the, the film is based on the Robert Graysmith book, that suspect, it's probably not who the Zodiac killer was based on the evidence, but still that's neither here nor there. Like it's an amazing film and it's just, it's, it's just so well directed, well acted. The script is phenomenal. It's just, it is perfect in my book. This one is currently $24.49 on Amazon if you're interested. And for me, this is like my number one for the month. Cannot wait for this one. Last but not least today, also coming out on October 29th from Arrow Video, we have the 4K release of Trick or Treat from 2007. This is such a fascinating film to me because when I watched it for the first time, and I want to say like 2009, I think was the first time I saw this, I think I learned about it thanks to like some random message board that was listing some underrated horror films that like people just didn't know about. And it went from that obscurity up to now where it's one of the most popular films of this like uh, season, right? This Halloween season. It, the, the spirit Halloween shelves are filled every year with items, memorabilia from this film. And everyone knows it, I feel like at this point. But 
rightfully so. This is an awesome movie. It is an anthology film. If you, if you haven't seen it, it's an anthology film with multiple stories in it, but they all tie together really smartly. And it's just, it's such a fun film. The perfect Halloween movie in my eyes. So super excited to revisit this. My wife is actually looking forward to this one, which she never looks forward to any of my uh, home media purchases, purchases, but this one she's excited about. I actually, I don't, I didn't upgrade the boutique release of this from Scream Factory on Blu-ray. And now I'm really glad I didn't because it looks like Arrow has what Scream Factory had and more. Plus there are physical goodies on this as well. But on top of, you know, the and more, what I'm talking about there specifically is that there are six new interviews there's a new audio commentary track, most if not all of the legacy special features, plus you get a poster, a booklet, and six postcards. So, I mean, this is getting the full Arrow Video boutique treatment, and I am so thrilled that it is. Like, this is just a movie that has deserved this recognition from 2007 on, and I'm so happy now that it's getting it. So, this one is currently $31.86 on Amazon if you're interested. This is going to be an awesome release. Cannot wait for Trick or Treat coming out on Arrow Video on October 29th. Only two honorable mentions to wrap up week five here. We have the J-Horror Rising box set. This one is also coming from Arrow Video, and there are seven films in this. Now, if I was thinking ahead, I would have pre-ordered this back when it was at 50% off, but I missed it, and so I'm probably going to hold off on this one. If the reviews are really good, I'll probably grab it at the next Arrow Video sale, but... I love J-Horror, and this one looks super interesting. Check it out. Like I said, seven different films, so check that out if it sounds interesting to you. And then the other one is Drag Me to Hell is getting a Scream Factory 4K upgrade. Now, this is a film I don't love, but I've been meaning to revisit this for the longest time. I've only seen it once, and I have to watch it again to see if I really love it. So I'm not going to upgrade to the 4K. I still have the boutique Blu-ray release that I need to watch. So that's how I will revisit this one. But I know a lot of people like that Sam Raimi film. So definitely check that out if you're interested. All right, so that is a gigantic month of releases. But before I wrap things up, I do want to talk about the cost of these items this month. So typically, I'll include in this final total here everything I talk about, including the honorable mentions. But this month, I'm only going to talk about the items that I currently have pre-ordered. And I guess this is how I'm deciding to spend $300 this month, more specifically, $291.43. But I live in Michigan and there's a 6% sales tax. So if you add that, it's closer to $309. So it is a very expensive month this month, but one that I think is so beyond worth it. So many titles are finally getting the 4K treatment, getting the boutique treatment. This is a great month. I have been, I can't remember a month I've been as excited about as this one, but I want to hear from you guys down below. Which of these titles are you planning on grabbing? Are there ones I missed? Let me know what you're grabbing that I didn't talk about down in the comments below as well. Anything you guys want to talk about down there, I appreciate it. And if you've made it all the way to the end here, you are awesome. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that support. The longer in the video you watch, the better that is for the YouTube algorithm. So that really does help me out along with helping the channel out. So thank you guys for making it all the way to the end here. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate that. But with that said, I will let you all go. Before you take off, though, I will just encourage you all to consume some media today. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will catch you all next time. <laughs>